Section six for example four. Another type of equation or model that uses exponentials is interest or compound interest. So if we invest a principal, this is the amount of money we invest in an account um, of P dollars and invest at a rate of R that is compounded N times per year. So this is how often you get interest. How often interest is calculated. Then the amount accrued, S, the amount in the account after T years is given by S equals P times one plus R over N in parentheses to the NT. So this is an exponential model that just doesn't use E. Um, and so what we often do instead is we do continuous interest. If an investment is compounded continuously, that means interest is just constantly being calculated. Um, although in practice this doesn't quite make sense, it's not possible, interest can't just be calculated every second of every day, it still gives us really good estimates of interest and it's a slightly easier equation. So we'll have R be the interest rate compounded continuously and the principal, um, the future value S of a pr original principal in, in T years can be found using an exponential growth model. So it looks just like those models we've been doing, the P0, E to the RT, or KT. We just tend to use R for interest rates, but otherwise it's the same model. So we have a person invest $7,000 at 5% compounded continuously. How much interest will they earn in five years? And then we'll compare this to compounded daily. So let's do continuous interest first. It's an easier equation, there's less going on. So we'll say S is 7,000, P is 7,000, the investment, E to the RT, so since R is 5%, we'll use 0 0.05 T. And so then if we wanna find out how much they have in five years, we just plug in five. So 7,000 E to the 0 0.05 times five. So I type everything at once if I can, but otherwise, if not, do the power first. So 0 0.05 times five gives me 7,000 E to the 0.25. So 7,000 E to the 0.25. Since it's money, I'll do two decimal places, 8,988 and 18 cents. That's how much is in the account. But I wanted to know how much interest. So interest would just be the difference in what we have now, 8,988 and 18 cents, minus the money we put in. So minus 7,000. And so the interest would be 1,988 and 18 cents. And so I just wanna compare this to compounded daily just to convince you that this still gives us a pretty good estimate even though in practice it doesn't quite make sense. So let's see what compounded daily looks like. So we're gonna use the equation without the E So we have S equals P times parentheses one plus R over N to the NT. So P is still 7,000, R is still 0 0.05, and then N is how often we're compounding money per year. So daily means N is 365, because there's 365 days in a year. So S, will be 7,000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 over 365 all to the 0 0.05 times 365. Oops, there's no R in the power, 365T. So let's see what happens five years later. 
So 7,000, 1 plus 0 0.05 over 365 to the 365 times 5. So depending on your calculator, maybe you type it all at once. If not, let's find the power. So it's a power of 1865 and then 1 plus 0 0.05 over 365. Keep a lot of decimal places. So we get 1.0001369866. All to the 1825 power. Otherwise, if you can, I'm going to type everything at once. It's a little bit more accurate. So if you have a calculator with parentheses, we'll do 7,000 parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.05 over 365, all to the 1825 power. And we get 8,988 and 2 cents. And then we'll find interest again by subtracting 7,000. So minus 7,000. And we get interest of 19.88 and two cents. So it's really not much, it's only off by about 16 cents from the previous, from continuous. So continuous gives us a pretty good estimate.